it's, it's I'm really stuck in here. Oh man. My son Frank invited me and Jeanette and the Husky Mick Smooth out onto his 1966 Glastron speedboat with its V4 Evinrude engine and its jet smooth ride and its Cadillac-like steering. It sped us along the Hudson River past lighthouses all the way to middle ground flats which were just fill and empty of trees at one time but now it's a wild island with squatter shacks and lots of things okay. to paint. Oh, this looks like a good spot. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's quicksand. I think it organizes into a simple number of values. Just the gray of the water, the reflection, and then the whites of the tops of the seats and the stripe. Well, it is raining, but thanks to this diffuser system, it'll keep the worst of the rain off of the palette and the painting. This page of my watercolor sketchbook happens to be primed with a brayer gradient. This is a very smooth gradation of color from blue at the top to a warm color at the bottom, used as a priming layer, and I'll paint over that with gouache or opaque watercolor. To make a brayer gradient, you use a linoleum block printing brayer, about four inches wide, with water-soluble block printing ink mixed with some acrylic medium to keep it from reactivating it when you get it wet. I don't have my normal metal palette here, so I'm using a piece of Lucite that's a siding grid, and I have my gouache and watercolor squeezed out onto the surface. While the rain patters down on the diffuser, I start laying in the big shapes uh, that I've laid out in my preliminary drawing. And they said it was just gonna be cloudy today. I don't know if I should tilt this diffuser away from me and make it drip forward or toward me and drip toward my face. I love the color of this reflection, which is kind of a, a warm color because the river has quite a bit of sediment from the recent rains. The light not only bounces off the surface of the water like a mirror, but it enters the water and illuminates it from above. And I can also get some white and paint over that priming color to make it more that light gray color that I can see in the distance. Oh man, the wind is really picking up and blowing the rain underneath the diffuser right onto the painting. And with gouache, you can't do that. It's gonna mess it up. I've got a plastic bag over the left-hand side of the sketchbook, which was getting wet. It's, it's I'm really stuck in here. Help, smooth. <laughs> oh man. Careful. Oh, you dropped the phone. What happened? The phone. Oh. What happened? The phone. Oh. Scratched it. Is it okay? I'm take the outer cover. Oh. Oh, all my paints keep getting wetter and wetter. Nothing's drying at all. This is crazy. And there's Frank sitting in the convertible boat reading his Stephen King paperback novel. It doesn't quite feel like the sunny, swinging party boat that we had expected. Now, this reflection is what fascinates me the most. The way the dark lines zigzag over the light gray background. Everything's a little bit wet and that's good for doing this kind of pattern. 
it's darkest here under the engine. And then I can paint the top of the white upholstered seats and the top of the dashboard and the stripe that goes over the front of the boat. And there's a bunch of little chrome details around the steering wheel, speedometers and the reflection of the inside of the plastic windshield. And then the highlight along the diagonal edge. And then I can put the rope that's tying down to one of the anchors. I think we better get back on board. Well, the rain is continuing and it's getting late in the day. Gets a little air bubble in there, huh? Yeah. Whenever you for bags. some reason, the motor won't start. We tried the starter motor. That didn't work. Now we're trying the pull start on the flywheel. Two hours later, it's still not starting. It's getting colder. It's going to be night soon. we got to swim to shore or call the Coast Guard or keep trying. I'll tell you what happens, but first I want to tell you more about those Brayer gradients. They're part of a new video coming up in a week or two. The whole video is called Gradients, and it's part of the Color and Practice series. It's mostly practice and a little bit of theory. I'll take you through six different ways of mixing gradients and so you'll do exercises to follow along with and then we'll do on location paintings of the alleyway landscape with a spot of light in the middle of it but we'll also do ferns in the woods and we'll do an outdoor landscape with clouds all using this idea of color changing from one area to another. This is a great way packed full of information, but a great way for you to not just watch videos, but also put them to practice and do the practice yourself so you really learn it. So check out Color and Practice Gradients, and the link is in the description. Well, the battery's nearly dead. We got the bubble out of the fuel line and cleared the carburetor, and I think we can do it. That's the sweetest sound in the world. Yeah, oh yeah. If you're new to the channel, thanks for hanging out, and there's a subscribe button in the lower right, and playlist and another video to watch at the buttons. Don't forget to check the description below for a list of materials, and if you have a question, you can ask it in the comments below. And check out my other social media channels. New content every day.